Welcome to Why I Knit. My name is Rachel and I am your host. It is Saturday, October 24th, 2015, and this is a very special edition of uh, episode number 39. All the show notes can be found at blog.whyinit.com. Find me on Ravelry as Yarn Talk, Twitter and Instagram as Why I Knit. We have a Ravelry group, a Facebook group, and we are also on iTunes. If you are a new viewer, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Hi everyone. I apologize for not recording last week. Uh, it was a little bit too hard to record in my hotel room with my um, mom and my sister. Um, I was going to do it while they were sleeping, but then my mom started talking to her in her sleep, so I just decided, forget it, I'll just wait till I get home. Then I was going to record on Monday, and that didn't work out, so I just decided to wait till uh, today, which is my normal <laughs> recording day anyway. So I hope everyone's had a good couple weeks. Um, this is, as I said, going to be a very special episode in the fact that the only thing I'm going to talk about is Rhyme Deck. Now, this was going to be a full episode where I was going to do On the Needles, talk about show news and stuff like that. But I kept coughing um, really badly uh, as I was talking. So um, I think it's just like allergies and stuff. Um, so I just decided to do uh, this week episode all about Ryan Beck because I'm like probably the last person in the world uh, who podcasts who is doing their uh, Ryan Beck recap. So I want to get that done as soon as possible I figured and then do another episode to talk about my uh, New Orleans and my New York portion of the trip and to show you what's on the needles. Now I have video footage that I will show you in a few minutes. I just want to talk about a ride up, a uh, little bit of our day, on uh, our ride back, and then show you what I uh, took uh, with my camera, and then um, my stash enhancement. So here we go. Uh, so it's Saturday morning, um, and I think Ryan Beck's about, uh, about probably three hours away from New York City. So it might be a little bit less, so it might be a little bit more. But I know it's, um, not like within an hour. Um, so we got up early, had breakfast in our hotel lobby. And then we went down to get a taxi to Grand Central. Um, if you're not familiar with New York City, there are two major train stations. Uh, there, there's Grand Central, which uh, is only um, Metro North. And that's the regional line for New York State and uh, Connecticut. <clears throat> and then there's Penn Station, and that's Amtrak. Long Island uh, Railroad in uh, New Jersey Transit. So we went to Grand Central. Uh, my mom had to go to the bank uh, to get money. And then we had already pre-bought our tickets for the train. So we just went to the track that was on and got on the train to Poughkeepsie. Now, Poughkeepsie is in Dutchess County, which is the same county that uh, Ryan Beckton. Uh, once we got to Poughkeepsie, we got off the train, because that's as further north it went, and we got on a bus to the Dutchess County fairgrounds, where uh, New York Sheep and Wool is held, because it's held there. And uh, the fairgrounds are in Rhinebeck. That's why a lot of people just say Rhinebeck when they talk about uh, New York Sheep and Wool. Uh, and so we get there and 
we're dropped off at the front gate. There is not much of a big walk uh, to get to where uh, they take our tickets because we pre-bought them. Um, but the line for uh, buying the tickets was not that <coughs> long by the time we got there. So, not terrible. Uh, so, we, they take our tickets, we go in, uh, and we start off looking at the frisbee dogs. Uh, the, the, um, I get their expi exhibition was about halfway done by the time we got there. Uh, but we got to see them, so that was very nice. And then we went down, saw some animals. Uh, I guess the local petting zoo was there too. And then we got some food. After we got food, we started to look at the vendors. Um, the barn areas were not, I mean, the first building we went into, I should say. It was crowded, and I do have, like, a little bit a hint of claustrophobia that's uh, people-oriented. But there was, like, enough room in the buildings where I wasn't, like, hyperventilating that much. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't even think I hyperventilated um, at all, which was good. So maybe it's, like, tighter quarters. Um, that, uh, my claustrophobia gets really bad. But I was able to move around, so I was very happy about that. And I figured that it was going to be busy. There were going to be a lot of people. But honestly, um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Now, I know people said that on Ravelry that they had trouble moving around and stuff. I didn't find that to be the problem. Maybe it's because we ate first um, and then went to the vendors, whereas most people probably went to the vendors first and then ate. As the day went on, it did get more and more busier, though. So, could be that, too. Um, so, yeah, my mom and my sister bought a few things, and then we went to go see the animals. I think that was my sister's very favorite thing, was seeing the animals, because she could care less about um, yarn and knitting and crocheting and stuff like that. Um, so, um, we went to go see the sheep. We spent probably 45 minutes looking at the sheep. Uh, then we rested for a little bit. Then we went back to look at the vendors and stuff, uh, and then we went to the, um, uh, souvenir tent. And I'm glad we went to the souvenir tent later because once we got there, uh, where we ate, it was, like, right by the souvenir tent, it was packed. So I am very glad we decided to wait. Of course, all the tote bags were... Uh, um, sold out, but that's okay. Um, honestly, I didn't go in with a game plan anyway. I was just, like, there for, because it was my very first time, really just there for the experience. And I'm so glad I went. Um, uh, my mom had a great time. My sister wasn't as enthused about going, but I think she had a good time. Uh, especially since she got a llama, uh, uh, it was like yarn knitted, um, and felted, uh, puffin that was made out of, uh, llama yarn, and she named it Lucas, and yes, Lucas does show up a few times in the video, um, but after going through the vendors, uh, one more time, and then, I think we did, I forget what else we did. I th oh, we went to the souvenir tent, and then I think we did one more thing. I forget what we did, though. Um, but, oh, we went to go get, like, a snack. Um, after the snack, we, uh, went out 
to uh, the front again to wait for the bus. Uh, and then we talked to some women who were on, who came on the bus with us. And we talked to them for about uh, 45 minutes because we, deliver, we deliberately left uh, the uh, fairgrounds uh, early because my mom, I wasn't sure if she could uh, keep up with us. And I also didn't want to, like, have, like, a rush of people come out. So I'm really glad we left uh, early. Uh, there was, like, a little gazebo where uh, we sat for a little bit so while waiting for the bus. And then we got on the bus. Uh, we got to the train station, and we just made the train because my sister had to go use the restroom before. So we just made the train, and then we were on the train for, like, about 40, uh, 45 minutes, and then you're like, yeah, you have to get off the train, go across the platform, get on another train because uh, that train, uh, it from, uh, I guess from the stop that we had to get off the train at, um, that's the first electricized station, um, because anything north you need diesel, uh, to run, uh, so they wanted to get us on a newer train so that we can get to, back to Grand Central probably a little bit quicker, um, the train was packed uh, on the way back, and honestly, there was uh, this group um, who had basically, uh, there were like, there was a section where you could sit three across, and they were basically taking up um, three of those, and so they had basically had 12 seats uh, where they were taken up and we were very angry. The people behind us were very angry about that. Uh, once they moved their stuff, because they, they didn't have 12 people, um, well, uh, I slided in and then my mom slided in and then the, the people behind us got, I think, a little bit angry about that, but they realized that we were together. So they were like, uh, oops, sorry. And then they went in behind us. But yeah, uh, overall, I had a great time at Ryan Beck. Uh, my mom, I think, had a great time. As I said, Miriam, I don't think, was as infused about going, but she liked it, I believe. Um, but I figure I show you the footage that I took, and then I will be back with my stash enhancement. On the train to Poughkeepsie, and I'm not along. Say hi, me. Hello. Mom. Hi. We're in Okay. okay. <laughs> More later. We are here. We're at New York Sheep and Wall, so say hi, Mayor. Hello, Mom. Hi. So yeah, I'm gonna do a couple of uh, videos throughout the day uh, and show you. Right now, we're I think we're gonna go eat because we had an early breakfast. Oh, you just eat. There's a pig getting roasted. We needed something else to do. And so we taught him how to play frisbee. And he is pretty amazing, which is how we got his name. And he's currently starring in a commercial that is on all the time on TV. It is for Eliquis. Eliquis is, happens to be a blood clot medication. But it doesn't matter when you guys notice the cute little black and white border collie, you are for sure going to know that he is the one and only, the amazing Mr. Gumball. So let's bring this big boy out here. Come on, buddy. Okay, hold on to your frisbees, and Eric is going to tell you what to do, okay? Okay. Okay, so you're going to hang on to your disc. She's going to throw first, okay? And whenever you're ready, honey. Nice! 
Nice. Look at that. It cuts right out of the gate. Okay, and then so you're going to be next. So, honey, I'm going to have you come here and step back with me. And we're going to let Will here have a chance. Whenever you're ready. And who said you didn't know how to throw a frisbee? Great job, guys. We had two catches. Here you go. Let's hear it for our volunteers. Thanks for helping us, guys. He's quick, right? You can go on back, and we are going to be here. Good boy. So I'm just going to show you the vibe. Right here. I'll have more later. Right here. Oh, you can? I cut it more. Oh, that's a ram. Hello, <laughs> Mr. Ram. What are you doing? So, Mira, did you pet the sheep? Yeah. Enjoying yourself so far? Oh. Yeah. I'm filming you filming me. Hi. Who's your little friend? This is Lucas. This is Lucas? Hello, Lucas. Hello. What are you? A person. Are you knitted? I don't know. Oh, I think, yeah, I think, because I can see, like, the stitch marks and then felted, I think, too. So. Lucas the Puffin. How old are you, Lucas? One. One? And how many brothers and sisters do you have? Several? 25! 25 brothers and sisters. What's your mother's name? Lucy! Lucy? No, my dog has a friend named Lucy. Oh. Your father's name? Luke! Luke? Ah! You know, you just came up with both of those names. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be sound like Lucas. Okay. Well, bye, Lucas. Goodbye. I'm just waiting for Mom and Miriam. Um, they're in there. Somewhere. But yeah, uh, I did buy a button. Um, not sure what else I'm gonna buy though. Trying to keep it limited because of the amount of room we have in our luggage. So hopefully one, maybe two things, more things. Uh, but more later. I made a purchase, so it's in this bag. Uh, I will probably show it later and stuff. Um, my mom and my sister are both really interested in pens. And somehow, Miriam was able to find some while we were here. So she bought uh, a few pens. We also got some treats for our dog, Molly. Um, but yeah, uh, we are, I don't think we're going to be here uh, for that much longer. Maybe a couple more hours. Um, and then we have to, we're going to walk back because uh, we are waiting um, for a bus that's going to take us back to the Poughkeepsie train station and then the train will take us back to Grand Central. These are just uh, some tools. So I got screen fork. Scythe. 
Uh, this is from Mount Mountain View View uh, Coopers, uh, and it, the view is spelled, of course. F I'm sorry, V <laughs> E W E, and I just covered up uh, some information. I'm sure they the uh, farm owners probably don't want to be shown. Uh, I looked for a website for them, but they didn't have it, but I did link to, I guess, uh, I think they're in Vermont. Let me double check. Yes, they're in Vermont. Um, there is no cover light on, on this, but basically what this says, it's, it's our own 100% Coopworth wool, so it's Coopworth, uh, yarn. Grown and spun in the hills of Vermont. Custom spun for us at a uh, like fiber mill. Uh, it's a three-ply lamb's, lamb's wool, four-ounce chain, um, and it's about 225 yards per chain, 900 yards per pound. So there's about 225 yards in this one. Uh, tank, skein, whatever. And it's like greens, uh, it's not really true to color, it's a little bit lighter in person. But even on the screen, it's very pretty. But yeah, of course, we all know that I like green. Um, and I think this could be a scarf for next year, spring back, or... Even this year's winter, I, like I might wear it, uh, knit it, and then wear it um, this year. Um, but yeah, um, my only complaint about Rhinebeck is that I wish that there was like a ball winding service um, there because uh, maybe there is, maybe there's not, I'm not sure. Um, but my Swift is not the best, and I, I need a new ball winder anyway. So that, that is my only complaint. I probably should have known better to buy it this way, but it looks so pretty, and it was my only purchase because, as I said, I really went for the experience than more than anything because I didn't have a game plan. But... It happens. But yeah. Very pleased with how it turned out. I think my mom got a few things. Um, uh, I think I got, she got like rug, ho rug uh, hooking stuff. So yeah. Um, but yeah. I would definitely go back there in the future. I don't know if it's going to be an annual thing for us. Um, but you don't. Because I don't really want to get tired of New York City. Um, but it's definitely something that we are seriously thinking about doing uh, next year. 
but yeah. Um, I do have a little bit of show news uh, this week. I think I kind of talked about it in the first part, though. Um, I'm going to have a second episode on Tuesday. Uh, to, and this is going to be a partial makeup vid, but it's going to have more information about my New York trip, my New Orleans portion. Uh, but I just really wanted to get uh, this Ryan Beck section up uh, AS a ASAP. So that will be out on Tuesday, and then um, that will probably be next week. I don't know if it will be next week's episode or not. Um, but honestly, I, once November, the calendar turns to November, everything will be back to normal. October was just very, very crazy. But I hope everyone has a good week. And such, I will see everyone on Tuesday. Talk to you later. Bye.